everybody! My name's Euphoria, and welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. So, with all the hype surrounding XCOM 2, maybe not hype, but, uh, well, I'm pretty hyped for it, but all the, the buzz surrounding XCOM 2, XCOM is, I don't think it would be an exaggeration for me to say, it's probably one of my top 10 games of all time, uh, Enemy Within. I have about 120 hours in this thing, and I haven't played it in a while, it's been maybe like a year or two. And um, XCOM 2 is coming out soon, and I thought, you know what, this is a good opportunity to shake off some of the cobwebs of my strategic brain for XCOM, and uh, I want to do kind of, you know, uh, just a playthrough. Just go until we die or win. And uh, that could be five episodes, it could be uh, 100 episodes, I don't know. But uh, let's let's give it a shot. So, Impossible is not very fun for me, uh, classic is a, a good challenge in my opinion uh and um so let's uh enable iron man i'm gonna reduce beginner vo because i'm no beginner and we don't need any of these tutorials i'm not gonna do any second wave options just because i i don't really care about that um uh but classic sounds good iron man everything good let's start the game no tutorial please All right. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Oh, there you go. Fuck Mr. Fuller. Classic. Uh, aliens invade and attack everybody. That's the, the gist <laughs> of that opening video. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, meta around, a meta game around um, where to start. And North America, I'm usually a fan of North America. Well, I live here, first of all. And also... Uh, it has some a lot of money. You get a, a very big money bonus, and it's easy to like kind of protect the rest of the world because of your aircraft purchase thing. Um, the other options are Asia and Africa. Usually, are the generally accepted options. There's some to be said for South America, but I'm not too. I don't think it's real. That's kind of more of like a, a high level strat. Um, and Europe is generally accepted to not be as strong. Um, I think I'm going to go Asia. All projects in the Foundry and Officer Training School are 50% less. That is a huge bonus. It is so good. And Asian, the, the continents in Asia aren't necessary. It's the hardest to lock down, I guess. One of the hardest to lock down. There's four continents you need to have satellite coverage over to lock it down. And um, that's just a lot. Uh, especially compared to, like, North America and South America. Those are easy. Africa's pretty straightforward. So, I think uh, XCOM Asia is where we're going to be going this time. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So, I'm going to kind of, you know, it's... XCOM's been out for a long time. I'm not going to really focus on any story missions. Central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts. We got a, an American, a Jamie Griffin. We got an Australian, David Brown. This is, what is that, an, Ir uh, an Irishman, possibly? Caden Duff. And, uh, Farazana. This, this, so I'm going to... Uh, my, my knowledge of flags is going to show that I have uh, zero knowledge of flags. So, uh, sorry in advance if I somehow completely misinterpret uh, what your flag is. Any aliens? Nope. Roger that. This is a very large first map. Heading to that location. Moving. Unfortunately. Um, but if you haven't played XCOM before and you want to, you know, see a lot of the story and stuff, then frickin' buy XCOM, man. XCOM is one of the greatest games of all time. And you owe it to yourself to play it. If you're a fan of strategy games in any capacity, then XCOM is a game for you. Uh, so I kind of want to maybe, um, let's take a peek in here I'm on the move. before we go Enemy any further. Alright, good. Uh, so we got a, our first enemy pod there, and I don't really want to engage with them right now, actually. Aye, aye, I'm not into that. I really hope there's not aliens over here. That would freak me out. In fact, I really I think we should go over this way. Now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it. So let's uh let's head around a little bit here. Moving to position. Positive enemy contact. Ah shit. 
That was definitely not what I wanted to have happen uh, at all. Uh, that was very bad. Let's see what we can do. Luckily, I, I half moved everybody, so we can we can get a little bit of uh, of lead here. Um, you can see all the aliens in the world, can't you? Interesting. Okay. Uh, that guy can see that alien. Very good. So I think what we're gonna do here, uh, let's toss a grenade. And this will destroy that alien's cover. And kill that one. Very good. So that was that dude's turn. Uh, she is gonna do nothing. Um, we have a double kind of opportunity on our hands with that guy, but... Oops. Um, let's try to kill this alien with David Brown. You got it. Yeah, good shot. Excellent shot. Um, those aliens are a big problem. And I think... This alien has a chance to kind of... Uh, run around on us. So I think what I want to do is just kind of hide this soldier right now um, back here. Let's just I'm on the let's move. just hide her. She, she's going to be under attack at some point. And um, this one is definitely going to get shot at from basically all three aliens, I think. Uh, so let's unless we can get a, a clinch grenade in here. No. Uh, let's just hunker down with her. That was actually, for how how horribly I handled that first contact, um, this actually isn't going too bad. Well, <laughs> I won't speak too soon, but, uh, okay. Uh, so there's probably an F-ton of, of overwatching that just happened over there. But it looks like I can probably grab, get two aliens over here uh, with a grenade. At least one. This guy, can he see anything? Not really, and he can't really move either, unfortunately. I might be able to get onto the roof. I, the, the only problem is I think everybody is overwatched. Um, so I don't want to mess with that too much. Okay. Um, I, and I also, like, don't forget there's an alien over here. I really don't want to forget about that. Um, alright, so let's let's toss a grenade in here. It will kill this one and uh, wound that one. Catch. There we go. Hopefully destroy its cover, which it looks like we did. Can we... we can't see it now? Um, maybe we can get some good cover over here. I, I mean, I really don't want to get exposed to a, a shot. An overwatch shot. I'm rolling. Maybe this one will be able to see something possibly uh, next turn. And, uh, so I'm gonna... That's affirmative. I think this guy will be okay. I'm gonna overwatch him just in case that alien comes in the, um, other direction and I'm gonna overwatch this man as well just in case someone comes to attack us because this alien down here is gonna have to move because I, I blew up his wall that he was hiding behind <laughs> can anybody see him oh come on you got it this is you very good absolutely amazing oh he uh he ran over there that was a mistake <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't too bad a mistake. <laughs> okay. I think everybody's gotten a kill. This guy got a grenade kill. This guy got a, a regular shot kill. She got a shot kill from the Overwatch. Um, damn. We're doing freaking awesome. This is like... This is an excellent first mission. Very happy with it. Um, so, I want to try to minimize grenades, but I also don't want to... Don't want to be a fool. Can't be foolhardy with this game. Um, so let's come in this way. He'll be ready for the follow-up shot. Um, this alien... We can see him. 
God, she can be she's seen by everybody. So I really hope I don't trigger an Overwatch with this. Ah. Uh, I don't really want to go for that shot. Or that shot. So I, I really want to try to get these aliens the hell out of their cover. Um but I have a bad feeling about it. So, I'm gonna hunker that person down. Uh, let's... Let's start moving uh, this person close to try to maybe get an angle on this guy. Um, we'll overwatch him in case this alien moves over that way. And we'll hunker this guy down too. Um, so these guys are most likely gonna be the ones that take fire. Yep, there you go. Uh oh. Don't do it. Okay. Good job. So he fired. So I'm confident that uh, he is not capable of overwatching now. Um, so I'm going to go for the flank over this way. Stepping off. We might be losing all of our meld, unfortunately. Uh, I think this guy can do it. Can, you get a, can I get a grenade over there? Uh, it's just not gonna reach. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Uh, what about now? I think that'll get him. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I think I've only killed. I need to be cautious. I need to actually be able to kill uh, enough aliens without grenades to uh, to gain. All the bonuses, the bonus eye, um, and that guy shot too. So I'm gonna get up on the roof here for future flanking opportunities, if there are any. And I'm just gonna dash him. Moving. And then this woman uh, can That's come up here. I, so I think this is the this is definitely the last alien. Hopefully we don't lose too much of the meld. Uh, the meld's on a, a turn timer. <laughs> So after a certain number of turns, it'll go away, and we won't have it available anymore. But this, these two meld canisters are very far away, so um, hopefully we have enough turn time. Okay, so that seemed to be working. Heading to that location. Can I see? Doesn't look like it. Copy that. What about here? Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Moving. Uh, let's see what we got here. This guy... Um... Yes, Commander. I'm scared. Visual on the goods. Uh, he can he can just grab this meld next time. We'll we'll have him lock that down. When the time comes. Uh, can I... No, I can't. And if you see anything, Overwatch, aye, aye. Overwatch, Overwatch and aye, aye. Uh, see if the other alien comes down. Whoa, how did he get over there? I think I heard something. Oh, there he is. He's in the restaurant. Okay. So I didn't hear him Overwatch, although he certainly could have. Um, so let's That's jump down this way. See what we can see. A 45, that's not terrible. Uh, Moving. I think I can probably see him here too. Yeah, another 45. So we have a chance to hit him here, and she can see him too with another 45. All right. Got it. So let's grab that meld, and uh, we'll dash over this way. Double time. Just, uh, if, if all else fails here, we can get the flank. But I, I think we have a, a good enough odds in our favor here with three shots at around 50%. There you go. Good yeah. work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander. Excellent. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. A perfect first mission. We got all the meld, we got all the people. 
We got all the stuff. Everything's good. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Excellent. So here's the second part of XCOM, the base building. Um, so I think the format for these videos that... Uh, Outstanding. Uh, excellent. Only, this is so good. <laughs> But the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Excellent. So here's the base building. We can build our base. Hopefully we have some good uh, steam. Uh, oh, we got some steam down there. Perfect. Commander to the research um, labs. Commander so I think the, the format of these videos is I'm going to... Do kind of one combat mission and then do kind of base building. Um, I think that'll be good. So Colin Duff is our new support. David Brown is our new heavy. Awesome. He's got the rockets. Uh, Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research Khadija labs. Khadija Farisani is our new assault. And Jamie Griffin is our new sniper. Very good. Very happy with all this. So we got some more people here. Look like a good swath of soldiers. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Awesome. Uh, so our first order of business is definitely going to be weapon fragments. Um, yeah, weapon fragments. We want to get laser I weapons agree. as that soon as possible. The they're they're essential, in my opinion. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. To engineering. I just love the whole, like, engineering, research, all, like, the... It just feels like you're head of a cool military corporation. Anyway, um, so let's look at our facilities. We definitely want to excavate as much of this as possible. That's a, a very good steam location we have there. Um, so let's start the excavation here. If at all possible, we want to get a satellite uplink um, eventually. I think it takes like 14 turns to build a satellite uplink, if I'm not mistaken. So engineers is going to be our priority uh, for that. We also want to excavate all this. Um, Commander to mission control. So, we also want to get at least one, if not two, satellites up this game, uh, uh, this first month, I guess. Um, we will be able to get one if we can get a um, satellite uplink together, we can get some more. But I'm going to wait until we get some more engineers uh, to build satellites, because we can get a pretty substantial cost reduction, if that's the case. Um, I'm going to build one medkit. Okay. Commander to mission so everything control. else uh, seems pretty reasonable here. Let's just scan for some activity. Okay. Commander, so our first alien reduction. Multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, so we have a couple options here. We can go to uh, Brazil to get some money, which is always a good option. Canada, uh, pretty good with scientists, but really our, our main priority here has to be engineers, um, just so we can get you know, a, a cost reduction on our satellite building and um, pave the way for more satellites and buildings and stuff. But scientists is definitely a valid option. I'll probably go for scientists next. But we definitely want to try to rush to 10 engineers as quickly as possible. Um, but let's grab them engineers uh, yes 
Okay. So, I think, I, I really think the, um, the top priority here is, a uh, well, so a heavy is key. Heavies are, are so good. Assaults are very good. Actually, you know what? Everybody's good. But uh, I think the, the keys that we want to rank up as quickly as possible, um, a heavy is good no matter what as a squaddy, just from their rocket launcher. Um, but we definitely want to get a sniper that's pretty high level and a support uh, that's high level as quickly as possible. So I'm going to drop out our assault for now and uh, we'll start, start uh, training up some more recruits. So let's just uh, let's bring in Mikhail Petrov. What a freaking badass name. Let's uh, bring that guy in. And uh, let's do a little bit of customization here. I, I don't want to get too crazy with it. Uh, I usually do it a lot more, but I don't think that's fun to watch on video. But I do like to kind of hat color code my people a little bit. So we'll get a Caden Duff. I usually like to give supports the sweet uh, cap and and radio combo. And I also like to give uh, my snipers that same combo. Yeah. Uh, heavies, they gotta have the helmet, because, uh, that's just badass. They're the ones that need it, really. Or even this, uh, beanie combo is kinda cool. Let's give him a beard, too. Let's give him, like, a handlebar. Yeah. <laughs> what a badass. There we go, David Brown. And then uh, the recruit, he's he's undeserving of a hat. He hasn't earned his XCOM cap yet, uh, so we'll leave him there. And I still, I think, uh, I know I built a med kit, and it is okay to have a med kit, but I think um, having grenades is a little bit more beneficial than med kits right now. Just because if we get hit once, we're dead most of the time. <laughs> like, I think a, a unit can take one hit, possibly, and... It's not really worth healing them Prepare for at that one. time. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. All right, well, uh, that's going to be this video, everybody. So join us next time for Operation Dark Calm. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. If you'd like to see more from me, then uh, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.